Hey gang, this is Rob from ITMasterKey.com, and this is another installment of the Get a Damn Job series. So we went over several different certification pathways, several different certs, and the job titles or the gigs or the positions that you can look forward to applying for and possibly landing once you get certified. So this next certification is a certification that um, me and the team were kind of up in arms as far as if we're going to offer training for it or not. It just uh, it just depends. It just depends. Uh, right now, we're working diligently on COSA Plus and Linux Plus. If we have time to get around to it, I will definitely do it. Now, that doesn't mean that they're second away from the validity of this certification or um, what it can do for you, but just right now is just not a priority for us. But the next certification we're going to talk about is the CompTIA Penetration Test Plus. So Pen Test Plus, Pen Test Plus is what we're talking about. So just like um, a caveat, like I did for COSA Plus, this is not a good first certification. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, still a little bit under the weather. Excuse me. But this is not a good certification to take out the gate. This is not, I ain't got no IT experience. I don't know what penetration penetration testing is, but I looked up on Indeed and they make a lot of money. This is not that certification. All right. I would strongly advise that you have some sort of hands-on experience, not just um, classroom or book experience, but actual knowledge and hands-on experience using different penetration tools, different um, hacking tools, different IPSs, IDSs, so on and so forth. If you don't know what penetration testing is, this is going to be a way down the line for you. But just so you know, in the future, a penetration test simply is just when an organization brings you in, and they say, hey, can you show us our shortcomings? How far can you penetrate into our network? How many layers of security can you get past? Does that make sense? So a penetration test literally starts from everything and involves everything. They can try to compromise the door locks. They can try and compromise the workers there by social engineering. They can try and compromise the network via viruses. And then they'll pretty much come back to the organization with a report like, hey, if I was a hacker or if I wanted to take down your organization, this is how I would do it. And then it will give the organization plans and procedures and things to put in place to try and prevent those things. So it's super important. Um, those guys get paid handsomely as they should. But like I said, it's not for everybody. And it requires experience. That's the main thing, experience. But it's, you know, if you got four or five years in, you would be able to figure out, okay, hacking is definitely, or penetration testing is something that I really want to do. And let me go and do it. Like I said, with a lot of these certifications, they're building blocks, right? And you have to start from a certain point and just to avoid failure, to avoid uh, discouragement, don't let this be your first certification or, you know, right after A plus, you think you about the damn get pen test plus. Now, you know, it's people on the moon, like they landed on the moon, uh, stuff like that. So anything is possible. But the probability of you passing this shit um, without having experience is pretty low, right? So what I would say is get that experience. But here we go. The pen test plus certified job titles that you can look after, of course, penetration tester, a security analyst, or a vulnerability tester, okay? Now, like I said, if you look at penetration testing, you can make a lot of money um, with penetration Penetration testing and security in general, you don't necessarily have to work, especially if you build up your name and experience. You don't have to necessarily work for a company. That's something I probably should have put on Security Plus 
um, COSA plus and pen test plus, but I'll say it now. You can do consulting. You know, you can freelance. And, you know, if you know what you're talking about, you can make sure that people's systems are hardened, that the organization is hardened, meaning that if a attacker tries to attack them, there's going to be safeguards in place that can try and prevent those things. People have to understand, though, that in this day and age, nothing is unhackable. No matter if you're at the Pentagon or the most secure place on Earth, if you get the right hacker with enough time, they can compromise it. But if you have enough fail safes in place, if you have enough safeguards in place, you can prevent that because why would you know an attacker have to go through all this different stuff and figure all this different stuff when they can go to a maybe even a more valuable target or just a valuable target that doesn't have all those layers of security. So today we went over Pen Test Plus and some of the job titles you can look forward to. Um, as always, like I said, that certification is a way to get your foot in the door, a way for you to get recognized, but it's up to you to ace the interview. It's up to you to have your resume formatted and critiqued in a way it needs to be. It's up to you to have the right network. It's up to you to be in the right location. It's up to you to pick the right company. It's up to you to apply at the right times. It's up to you to leverage your network. Use all the tools available at your disposable, at your disposal. Don't just rely on this damn certification to get you a job. All right. Rely on everything. Now, this is going to be the last installment for get a damn job for a while. Um, the next couple episodes, we're probably going to be going over the bird's eye view or the satellite view, I should say, of different topics that are on the exam. Just like a quick overview of what's going to be on different exams. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. If you, this podcast has helped you in any way, shape, form or fashion, just make sure you share it with two of your buddies. Anybody that's going through the same journey as you. Also, if you want to find a group of people that can encourage you, help you get through your journey, go ahead and get in the Facebook group. Follow us on Instagram at IT underscore master, Twitter, master IT TX. And of course, all these podcasts are uploaded on our YouTube channel at master IT as well. Would appreciate if you subscribe to us over there. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you're a penetration tester. If you are working in the field, let me know where you are, um, what the job market is like there, how things are going, and just let me know what's going on. And I can post it, tell some of my students, tell some of my colleagues, tell some of my counterparts. Other than that, have an awesome day and I'll see you in class.